Hi, my name's Fran, and this week's topic, week three, is uh, resources. So, I'm making this video kind of hastily, like late. I almost forgot about it, honestly. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, what do I do? So, it's this video is going to be like super short. I mean it, like super short. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mostly stick to Tumblr. I don't like frequent any forums or anything. So I don't have much course for like much advice for like online resources besides Tumblr. I'm like really sorry about that. Uh, gotta scratch that out. Um, but blogs. I have a few blogs. Um, Ask a non-binary and genderqueer.com. The Non-Binary Safe Space, nonbinary.tumblr.com, and then Gender Queered. And they're all really good blogs. I love them to pieces. Um, and really, I think it wouldn't have been without blogs um, on Tumblr. Um, not just like the the advice blogs for like non-binary and, and or trans people, but like just even just regular people that don't have advice blogs or just like blogging about their personal life, I wouldn't have never found out about my gender identity and stuff. So, um, besides blogs on Tumblr though, groups, um, in the past I've been kind of iffy about groups, um, more so GSA because GSA, in my personal experience, they mostly focused on, like, um, cis gay men. And it, there wasn't a whole lot of talking, like, about important issues. It was mostly talking about just, like, stuff that wasn't important. Um, occasionally, we did have serious talks about homelessness um, and coming out and giving advice but for the most part it seems like GSA was just like some fun party and I know a lot of people don't want that so that's my own personal experience and I'm just telling you all if you want to get involved with the GSA I'd advise um, going there with a friend you might be nervous I was nervous so I went with friends every day every week we went on late Thursdays I think yeah um, and just observe and see for yourself to see if it's right for you. If it is, there you go. Um, my town also, besides at our school, which I already graduated from, um, my town has a uh, Mogai group uh, for parents with Mogai children. So like trans children, uh, children that are trans, um, non-binary, um, gay, lesbian, um, things like that. But I got that from a sociology teacher. I asked him for advice and resources and stuff. Um, teachers, really great. Sociology teachers, awesome, <laughs> um, to help you get resources and stuff uh, so you can meet more Mogai people, meet more <clears throat> people that are going to help you and stuff. Um, but yeah, the town, the town group, I didn't, I never actually went to it, um, but it seemed really great. I didn't, I didn't really look into it much though. Uh, I think they have like meetings, um, every week, every month, and like, the the parents go with their kids their children and they talk about the, the issues and things that come with being trans or non-binary um gay lesbian like asexual um aromantic and i think from that that seems pretty good because then your your uh, parent your guardian um sibling relative etc um they learn from that to hopefully become a better ally for you and for others, uh, to others. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, teachers, counselors, they're, they're not really, I wouldn't say they're like resources. I would say they're more like, um, they're more like a small step that gets you to your resources. Um, so like my sociology teacher, bless him, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, he, he led me to a lot of resources. He gave me a lot of advice when I asked it for him, from him, um, gave me pamphlets and things like that. And that's really, really helpful. But I don't think a lot of, uh, you would have sociology teachers. I mean, it's not like it's a, it's a required class. It's more of a, an elective. So I don't think everyone would have it. Um, but then there's counselors. And if you're, if you're, um, with, you know, with, um, telling people about your identity, it's, it's only if you're comfortable. I don't know if a lot of people would be comfortable, you know, telling their teacher, telling their counselor that, um, they're trans or non-binary. Um, but if you are, then counselors too are also a good option. Um, they can also do the same thing with, uh, just as teachers can, maybe even more, um, link you to websites, um, pamphlets, give you information, advice, um, things like that. Online, again, I don't, I don't have, like I said in the beginning, I don't really have any, any resources for online. I don't frequent forums. Um, I, I literally, I stick to Tumblr, um, and that's just where I am. So I'm sorry in that regard for not being able to help you all. Um, but I hope with what little information I did give that it was helpful. Um, and I will link those Tumblr blogs into this, into the description too. So if you want to look at those, um, there they will be. So I'm Fran and I hope you liked this video. Bye.